What It Do Even 2, Mark and Pocket Ball 5, and we're finally at part 9 of the Light Platinum playthrough. And even then, it's just an interlude, but it's better than holding off even longer on uploading this, I guess. So in this part of it, like I said, it's just another one of those grinded out. This ended up being under 5 minutes on the final export, but that doesn't do any justice. It was a 15 minute raw recording, I guess. But we're just really just doing trainer battles. And I thought about my what I wanted my fifth Pokemon to be. I was thinking about a grass type, hopefully not a grass poison, because I want I have growing too. I kinda want that grass type to resist ground. So for that reason, I wouldn't go for a grass poison. Just because the ground resist would be really, really nice to have. But um Pretty sure I just the person who gave me the level was just said that, but Nothing really major happens this episode, nothing like really where if you miss this, you're not really gonna miss anything too. Like, you know, missing it won't be detrimental to your run, you're not gonna like, oh, I didn't find out how to get from this city to this city from this run, so I might just, I might just lose my entire progress. No, nothing really bad can happen from missing this episode. It doesn't mean to skip out on it, of course, it just means that like, you know, one of those progression, like, kind of like, I think it was part 5 or 6 or whatever it was that was interlude. It's another one of these. They're borderline pointless, but I would say that they have at least some kind of point. Almost. And these are my least favorite to record, too. So if, if, if you're not the biggest fan of these, I would understand, because I do not like recording these, because it's just a whole lot of grinding. It's just grinded out, you know. If I want to do some grinding off camera, probably. I'll probably do that, but... You know, other than that, I really won't do anything on camera. So when I records uh parts of the series like this where it's just getting from one town to another with a bunch of trainer battles at least they don't have as many pokemon i don't know why they decide these trainers are the ones with like two to three pokemon and the guys at the beginning of the game have like six pokemon i don't know why, why that's just incredibly backwards but you can grab a netball over here catch water types catch bug types sure but um yeah, nothing of super relevance really happens either. To be honest, we're in Bram, whatever that's called, town. And we really don't do much of anything here. Like, there's one thing you can get here that's pretty notable that I'm gonna go get. It's not gonna help my playthrough at all. But I'm just gonna, like, show it just, you know, in case you're playing. Maybe it can help yours. But, you know, we're gonna go heal. And then we're gonna run around to do nothing. Like, I honestly could have sped this part up a little bit more. Actually, I just lied because we have a battle with is that red one red battle And that's really the most relevant thing about this place the one relevant thing about this part that you don't want to miss So if you clicked off already, then you already lost out because this red battle is pretty important Because it's a rival battle pretty much His Pikachu he spams double team because he to be an asshole But other than that, I still don't want to teach Charmeleon flamethrower despite having the TM right there because one of my last two Pokemon might be able to do it, just just in case, you know, you never know, never know. I accidentally clicked Thunder Wave there, but he got full parry anyway, and he has Lucario to end it out. I do have Charmeleon, but I want Marsh Tom to get some run. Charmeleon, if you missed the second gym, got a bunch of run there because my other Mons aren't really that big a fan of Grass types. So, for that reason, Charmeleon was doing pretty much all the work. Hard carry, hard carry. So, um, he's out of the picture. Red, that is. You go in here, there's nothing of relevance in this house. So I kinda like, hopefully I make it quick. Okay, I do, I do, I do. Uh, there's EXP share, you have a second EXP share. I don't know how much a second is needed. A second one kinda feels like it would dilute your uh, other Pokemon that's holding the EXP share. If dilute was even the right word to use there, you know, it seems like it would mess up things up there. But we're gonna go heal right quick. I don't even think I needed to heal either, but Pretty sure I did. We go back in this house, but luckily I just make it quick. Here's the house we want to go into, because this hiker will give you a Larvitar. And you can use Larvitar in your playthrough. I'm probably not going to, because it doesn't help my issue with grass types. Outside of Charmeleon, it doesn't really help against ground types either. And with that, uh, this part is pretty much over. 